Hello, uh, I'm Richard Raffin. In this video I'm going to show you how you can get a bowl blank onto a screw chuck with the lathe running. Just as easy as that. It's not as dangerous as it looks. It's rather like feeding a horse. Um, you use the flat of your hand to uh, keep the blank pressured up against the screw uh, as it feeds on. Of course it all happens very quickly. And um, we'll now show you a bit closer how it's done. One of the first things I made when I started uh, turning in 1970 was a screw chuck, uh, rather like this, uh, around six inch diameter. Um, the screw projecting uh, about half an inch, this is just slightly more, uh, it's about 16, 16 millimeters. And onto that um, we would throw the blanks. So this has a small hole at the center which we drilled and uh, turn the lathe on, hold the hole up, and that's that. Now that's because of the diameter of the face plate, that gives you a pretty good grip and that will not come off easily. Yeah, that's it. So, I'll now show you all that from different angles um, and uh, so you can see how it all happens. And uh, now again at normal speed. So it's a question of holding the blank with your palm against the, the flat part and as you present the, screw, present the hole to the screw, the screw will grab and you just take your fingers away and keep the fleshy part of your hand pressed against the, uh, the center of the blank. It's really quite easy. I don't think I ever recall really tearing my fingers here because uh, it was on the edge of the blank. So the heavier blank, this is a piece of elm, uh, bone dry, small hole in the middle. And because this is a heavier blank I don't need to have the lathe going quite so fast. Now in that case, it's not dead flat, so I can just screw it up a bit tighter. But it's not going to come off. For the past uh, probably 40 years, I've been using uh, a glazer screw. Um, first in uh, this, which was uh, an adapted, a made-up screw chuck. Um, can't remember where the bits came from now. Uh, and more recently, a, um, I used this pick mark uh, 3-in-1, so that collar comes off um, the moment I've got the larger diameter. Uh, if I want a smaller diameter backing plate, then I can uh, just reverse this collar. And I don't need that much screw, so I have a, a, uh, a spacer which goes on, MDF, and then uh, this will be... Uh, I how big this one is. Show you what goes on. That's just over six inches. Same thing again. And that's it. That still doesn't want to come off that easily. So, I uh, don't need the spanner. Need a post there and that goes down onto a magnet which holds it in place. I can get that off. 
Right, and that really is it for uh, the screw chuck. A really handy thing to have if you're doing any amount of face work. Well, just like that. <laughs>